All right, our World Cup match versus Stalled Bird. Make sure we got the order right. All right, we're going second. Ooh, spotted Tohi in the tray. Birds with no eggs for round one. That's kind of good. Egg-centric game. I guess first round bonus is no eggs, duh. But star nests are going to be kind of nice here. White powers. I like the Tohi and the Titmouse here in the tray. Alright, what do we got? Like Savvies. Pygmy Nut Hatch can tuck excess cards. That juniper titmouse in the tray. I wonder. If he doesn't take the tohi, do I take that? Do I take the titmouse? Take the nut hatch to convert points from the warbler's excess cards. I'd rather have the titmouse, I think. So I think we're just gonna go with a draw gambit here. We're getting either the titmouse or the tohi, unless he plays like Carolina Wren or something. I suppose I should look at my bonus cards, huh? Omnivore specialist. Red Kite is a six-point bird for two food there. Don't really need the platform nest. I think I'm going to skip it. Carrion Crow picks up two points from Omnivore. Did he really? Ah, oh, he played Brant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's all wetlands birds left over. Well. I don't even know what, I'm still in shock. changes things quite a bit. I'm kind of glad I only kept the one card then because that gives me the food. I need to play something here. Should I draw into it? I'm missing that critical worm. They got a bunch of cards in hand. It's kind of scary. Like that. We'll make use of that Harrier. Hopefully, we don't give him some great cards. But we're kind of behind the eight ball already here. Here's a Toei. Birds with no eggs. I want to make sure I spend both these eggs so I can play the Harrier, spend one, 
then I'm banking on there's four fish in the bird feeder too so I'm banking on playing another bird or I could just take the opportunity to spend that egg now see what else I get I mean I need a forest bird is that it that's expensive Ah, dang, so many expensive birds. I need some good engine forest birds. Should probably get this king bird down. Play the harrier in the wetlands. He took a single food. Now if he plays a forest bird, we'll get a worm back. Gosh, do I play this vulture? I don't want to get this whooping crane down too. That's a big bomb. White-throated swift is good for later. Indigo bunting, he's going to want that. can't let him have that. So what are my plays? I got three turns left. I want to get the Harrier down, but I don't need it down now. I gotta deny that bunting. Well, glad he didn't get the goose. plays a forest bird and I get the worm, I could get a cherry, discard an excess card for another food, I can reroll the bird feeder, I'll have what I need for the bunting. Played a Phoebe. Let's get this harrier down. Tying there. So it looks like he's not going to be going into the forest unless he drops a bomb. He's got that Juniper Titmouse yet, though. Yellow Hammer. I can't get it and play it. Drew more cards. That's kind of scary. So let's work on getting the indigo bunting down. So we got one food, no turns left. You can't do a double play to win the wrong goal. Got a singular wheat, no eggs. I can't drop this vulture to win the wrong goal. So let's take Cherry, discard the Goose, reroll, take the Worm, and hope for a good tray, Wood Duck. I'm going to play Bunting Swift. And I think we're kind of past the point. Like a, a round two wood duck isn't really going to do a whole lot, especially when he's built into the grasslands here. So if he takes it as a deny, that's kind of a dead turn as far as I'm concerned. Another cup nest bird.
I'm gonna go ahead and have that wood duck and try to play it. I would actually, I think I would prefer that right now. The bird feeder doesn't help him with that. Bit of a trap. He's trying to build out his grasslands here. Yeah, he left it. Extra worm. Well, we want to get these big birds down. And that helps a lot with the round three bonus. So that needs a lot of food. Got a worm. Play the white throat swift next. The swift is gonna take a lot of cards. I don't really have a lot of cards that I wanna tuck. I think right now it's more important to get these bombs down. Went for the bush tit. So let's turn these cards into the food we need to play these bombs. So we have two worms. Let's take a wheat. Yeah, I don't want to skip my food, huh? And we'll take the worm. Drop this woodcock in the grasslands here to get us to column three so we can lay our three eggs and cover our three cup nest birds. Another free worm. Two weed and a worm. So I got two worms, I need two wheat. I think I'm gonna go back to the bird feeder, chuck the vulture, try to pick up two wheat off the reroll. Free worm. Cassin's Finch, bonus card bird. So I could play the whooping crane now, but I think since I've got one worm, Let's see. Yeah. Bingo. So then we'll play Greater Prairie Chicken. Then we'll lay three eggs, covering all our cup nest birds. One, two, three cup nest birds, so we'll tie on that. <laughs> Food web expert it is. <clears throat> he's got a pretty decent engine going, but he's feeding us a lot of food and that's helping us drop these bombs. We have a pretty vanilla grasslands engine, but it's better than nothing. Now he's dropping the greed for card advantage. He drew so many cards before, and he's only tucked two on the bush tit. Well, I gotta lay eggs here. And we'll take a cherry. Play Whooping Crane next. And then I think. 
So he took the turkey. Oh, is that Benelli? Is that mine or is that get I think that gets ditched. Nope, it is mine. Oh, it's his. Dang it. Well, he needs it with these low point birds. not what I wanted to see. So he's gonna have one, two, turkeys three, Benelli's four. I'm gonna have three. Multiple habitats. Getting four off that, so that was a nine point net play there. So I need to draw cards here. Well, they're going to need that Benelli's to catch up. At least we're scoring off all our bonus cards. Another worm. I'll take it. I need two eggs for that puffin. I got a savvy's on deck anyway. What am I thinking? Got that Benelli in hand, but I'm ahead. Playing that Benelli's was a foregone conclusion. He could have just drawn cards one more turn. And he's got a double bird, that's gonna suck. I need three fish for this puffin. Turtle dove in the wetlands. So he's got. He's gonna have five white power birds. So my two worms can cover one fish. I need two more fish. There's eight turns left in the game. No multi habitat birds. Swift picks up two from Food Web Expert. The Swift is also good for the round four goal. And I have no birds with cavity nests. Play the swift here and just start laying eggs and getting food off the bunting. Hope for extra worms off his Phoebe. Got three cards to tuck under the swift. I've only got two, three white power birds down. He's already got one, two, three. 
So all he's got to do is drop that Benelli. He's got no food. He's got that turkey in hand. He's not going to be able to pick up the cherry without going to the bird feeder. With the Benelli in his hand, he's not going to want to tuck cards with the bush tit. I think this game got a lot closer than it was at first. Just thinking hard. I need to get this puffing down before the end of the game though, that's for sure. Gave me a worm. So that covers one fish. Gonna fill up on eggs here. I need. Three more pieces of non-fish food to play the puffin. Three times four. Five is fifteen, so I'll fill up on eggs perfectly by then. He's helping me out there, so I only need two pieces of food. One more piece of food. So now if he gives me another worm from the Phoebe, which he's probably not going to do, he's going to play a bird here. A white powered bird, or a no power bird, in order to secure that round bonus. It's not going to be the turkey, it's probably going to be Benelli's, or some other low point bird like Cassin's. Savannah Sparrow, so we did the du double play into Mockingbird, huh? Interesting. Did not see that coming. So, he might have a ton of cards in hand. He's thinking about duplicating the bush tit, but he'll fill up really quickly. But if he copies the Tohi, he can power out some more birds at the end. So I can't get the puffin down. I gotta take the worm. He might be looking to spam food here. Let's get the puffin down. Now we whiffed on that one. One more fishing bird gets us to fishery manager. So we have to draw cards and lay eggs. It's got one, two, three total bonus cards. Still didn't see that Juniper Tit Moss, he must have tucked it. He's got one, two cavity nests. That Tit Moss would have been the third. He must have copied the Tohi. Mm. 
Three turns left. Well, let's gamble. So we can actually drop that hooded warbler. Get one more worm off the bunting, or if he gives us a worm off his Phoebe. We can play that. Then we just lay eggs for the last two turns. Multi-habitat. Spoonbill, another bomb. Boy, I don't know about this game. We have a fish eater. No, we don't. It is a worm eater, though. Well, the Galanoo qualifies for Omnivore. Alright, well, let's lay our eggs. One more food. Get this warbler down. And if they give me one off that Phoebe, I can play it right away. Yeah, that was a bad whiff on the puffin. All right. Gotta make sure to get an egg on that puffin. We'll tie on that round goal once he drops another cavity nest. Honestly, I mean playing a two-point bird. And he's gonna play Benelli here at the end. Playing a two-point bird just to gain three points over me. So it's a one plus four. It's a five-point play. I think I'm fine with that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could have a nine-point activation here running his grasslands, but he chose to play the cold tit. He's got that Benelli's in hand, so he's going to drop that as his last activation. I think this is going to be close. Maybe not. Maybe he'll win it off the back of this Benelli here. He's got a lot of low point birds. I've got a lot of fat birds. I hope he doesn't have a double play here in the forest. Sparrow Mockingbird is strange, especially if he's not just spamming his bush tit at the end. Well, the moment of truth. Twenty points ahead on bird points. That's good. Stop. I hate that. Pull ahead on eggs. Oh man, maybe not. Ah, so close. Dang it. Good game, Stallbird.
Let's have a look at their bonus cards. Passerine, they did really well. Bird Feeder, they did really well. So they made the most of their low point birds with their seven point viticulturalist. Yeah, their their bonus cards won it for them. There's that Juniper Tit Mouse from the beginning. Where's that Benelli? Did I miss that? Was that did that just get refreshed at the end of the round and then nobody got it? Huh. I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch that back. Alright, well two scores at a hundred plus, not bad. Good game, Stall Bird, and thanks for watching everyone.